I've called in Lesson 64, Part 3, I've given the title Different Strokes. The phrase is different strokes for different folks. But in this case, I used to think there's different strokes for different clubs. When I first started playing golf as a 13-year-old, I was under the impression that wedges were swung gently, mid-irons were swung at a medium pace, and drivers were swung at the strongest and hardest pace. But I know with experience and observing great players, that's not the case. The best example I can think of is Nick Faldo. And what Nick Faldo showed us is that the, the, the engine speed, the body rotation, the backswing, is the same tempo from full wedge to full six iron to full driver. Yes, the swing lengthens, the shortest swing will be the wedge, the medium swing will be the six iron, and the long swing will be the driver. But the engine speed, the journey of the shoulder to the throat, is the same. And it's rather like the catapult analogy. I can stretch the catapult slowly, a little bit faster, or very fast. But whatever speed I stretch the catapult, the release speed is the same. And it's similar to that in golf. We load the shoulder at the same tempo, but the length of the shaft and the loft of the club and the weight of the head will determine how far the ball goes. So here I am with my pitching wedge, offering the club, leaning forward, I'm going to load my left shoulder and hit the shot. Okay, I'll do that one more for you again. I caught that a little bit thin, if I'm being honest. So just watch again. Don't watch the club or the ball. Watch the journey of the left shoulder. So I've hit my 56 degree wedge, about 90 to 100 yards there. In we go, six iron. Middle of the 13 clubs, that's why I do most of my lessons favoring the six iron. Through the routine. Left shoulder, same journey as the, as the wedge. And my six iron is flown through the air 150, just off the same speed. Show you that one more time. Through the routine, build a grip. I have one waggle and I coil. That was the sweetest shot of the two. So that takes it lastly, the driver, much longer shaft, 44 inch shaft considerably longer than the wedge of a minute ago. But drawing on Nick Faldo for my inspiration, the Ryder Cup, didn't matter what the pressure was, his backswing was the same tempo. So here we go, driver, I've set up, I have one waggle, watch the shoulder coil. So, the wedge went around 90 yards, the sixth I went around 150, the driver went 260. But I think you'll see when you look back, you really get a clear understanding that no matter what club you're using, the rotational journey of the shoulder to the throat is of the same tempo. And again, when you go to the first tee, it's a good thing to have in your mind. You don't want to panic. I don't say slow, but I do say deliberate.